Okay, hello. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Here we are. Here we are once again. About about to finish. Hi. Hello, Danyanara. Hello. Good. Okay, Byron. Hello, Byron. Hello, Kenya. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Mercy. And then we have Anna. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well. Okay. Remember, this is the beginning of a new week. Um. This is the, let me see, week number, number two, let's say, of December. So we have three, four. After this, we have exactly like three weeks to arrive to 2024. Okay. What are your expectations for the next year, people? Plans? Resolution? In, uh -huh. In my case, um, <coughs> I hope to speak more better. Oh, no, no, no. I speak better this language. Okay. <laughs> That's one. Good. Yeah. I mean, I think you, you are on the... Everybody in this course is on on the way, right, to, to get to that level, to that point. But obviously, you will need a lot of practice because, you know, mostly what you need at this level is to, first of all, you know, to practice your English, but also, you know, to uh, increase vocabulary, right? That's, that's very important as well because yeah. sometimes you probably understand, you know what, that you want to say something, but you don't find the right words to to say it right so then that's why you know increasing vocabulary is also you know very important and a way to do this is reading okay reading you not know, short articles to start with to start training your your brain your comprehension uh, and also you know have the chance to to get vocabulary so that would be probably a, a great help Okay, good. Every That's time, uh, but every time teacher is uh more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's say that yeah, somehow if the a little more complex, right? But if you have the you know good basis, you know, if you are if you have been, you know, uh let's say uh, uh improving your your English little by little from the level one. So then obviously you will feel always, you know, that the that step in the ladder is a little bit more difficult, but just a little bit, you know, but if you don't uh, practice, then you will feel every step in the ladder, you know, like real, real high. But in this case, I think you, you're on the right way. Okay, just, just keep on practicing, right? That's something that you cannot uh, forget. Okay, Maria, any... Any plans no. for next year? Uh, a resolution. Oh, we start working with a new project. All right. And and English uh, is uh, continue continue with English. Continue learning. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's. And, to, to talk better. Yeah, to improve your your speaking, right? Yeah, but that's practice. That's yeah, all about yeah. practice. Uh -huh. Yeah, because, you know, I think that uh, you already have the idea of the language. You just need to let it go, right? To, like you said, spit it out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good. Diana? Okay. I want to start my master this oh, year okay 
Eh, I want to, con, eh, ¿cómo se podría decir? Re, re, reiniciar. Es, restart. Restart, yes. Restart. My emprendimiento, I don't know how to My say. En, entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Entre, how? Pen, <laughs> entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. um, is, you, you want to be an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. I, I used to have one. It's difficult for me. <laughs> yes. Entrepreneurship. Uh, well, I need to read. <laughs> See okay. to, to read, but uh, I want to restart because I have one. Uh, it was uh, about paintings and that stuff, stuff. Yes. But so I, you, you are an artist. Yes, I am an artist. Uh, this year have been very, uh, a lot. They they have a lot of change. I start to work. I finish my thesis. So it was very difficult for me to uh, have it, it all organized, uh, organized, no sé organized, organized. organized, and I start to go to the gym, uh, a lot of things. So I I really try, but uh, I can continue. Uh, just uh, uh, January, February, and March, and then I didn't paint. So okay. it, I feel bad because it's something that I really like. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, because you know, and what kind of painting do you, I mean, do you do? Uh, abstract. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, I need inspiration, but this uh -huh. year has been a lot of things and fast. Everything was changing, changing so fast and a lot of things in my life. It happened, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, but you know, you have like, what, maybe two, three weeks Mm -hmm. to start thinking what you're gonna do and then from January on start painting whatever comes to your mind <laughs> yes. right so then that that's gonna be the inspiration okay great I like that idea too good hello Rebecca hi everyone hello everything is how's everything how was the weekend Rebecca Excuse me, teacher. How was your weekend? Um, um, to rest in my house. Okay, you stay home. Okay. Yes. With the yes. family, relax. Yes. Being a good um, girl. I have uh, a weak heart. Oh, okay, good. What's difficult? <laughs> yes. <a> difficult way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very soon you're gonna be enjoying a couple of days off. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have this one vocabulary response personality traits. Remember, just for you to have a refresh. Hello. Which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad temper. Okay, for example, these are how we can describe our personality. If you consider yourself bad-tempered, creative, critical, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level-headed, uh, moody, punctual, reliable, or uh, strict, right? Now, listen, and then we check the meaning. Creative, critical, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level-headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then. Check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? He's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. 
too, a co-worker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three, a teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay. You check the vocabulary here. Listen to four conversations. Teacher, the sound is, is uh, down. But could you hear? No, nothing. Mm, little. A little bit. Little bit. Yeah. Slower. Bird. Creative. Listen, repeat, and decide. And now? Better. Okay. Better, teacher. Check, teacher. All right, good. Listen and repeat. Bad tempered. Creative. Critical. Disorganized. Efficient. Forgetful. Generous, hardworking, impatient, level headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. Then check the Okay, so before we listen to that part, okay, let's check the vocabulary that we have in this one. For example, bad temper is a person who yeah. is angry. usually angry, right? Angry or easily gets angry, okay? It's not really happy, we will say, right? A creative Creative. For example, the for example, how like Andrea, you need when you are inspired, you become creative, right? Or in our jobs, when we are inspired, we also have creativity. I think we all have creativity in different levels, and for different activities. Okay, a critical a person who likes to okay. criticize. But oh, yeah. there is good and bad. Okay, good and bad because you know it can be a positive, critic, okay, but it can also be destructive, one, right? Then disorganized, a person who does not know the order of things, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes this kind of people has to work more. Because, you know, in the disorganization, sometimes things go bad or wrong. So then you have to repeat them and do it again. Um, efficient. A person efficient. who makes things without, uh, let's say, a great effort. Okay, they go straight to the point. That's very efficient. And good, and good results. Forgetful person who forgets things all Forget. the time. Oh, okay. Generous, a person who likes or enjoys giving. Okay, giving help, giving help uh, helping others. Hard working. 
Okay, hardworking is people who work very hard. So remember, all these are uh, adjectives, right? So they usually will be before a noun. Uh, but you can say a bad temper supervisor, a bad temper teacher, a bad temper uh, boss, a, a creative student, a critical, uh, let's say a critical person, a critical man, critical boy, and like that. Impatient. Don't have patience. Who is impatient here? Don't have patience. Yeah, who is impatient? Rebecca, are you impatient? I am no, impatient. teacher. No. <laughs> okay, very good. Herbert, are you impatient? You say yes? Sometimes. Okay, good. Nice. Who else? In th somebody said Cesar. Are you impatient? Yes, I am very patient. Imp impatient or patient? Patient. Oh, patient. patient. Okay, no, patient. No, I'm I'm in the search of people who are impatient like me. I am impatient. Uh, in some uh, in some situations, right? In other situations, I am very very patient. But in some others, I am really impatient. For example, in traffic, I become you know impatient. Uh, yeah, when I am, yeah, too. uh huh. When I am in class, I feel relaxed, okay, I have no problem. Okay, but uh, if I go to a restaurant and I have to wait a long line, then I am also yes, impatient. Yes. Actually, when I go to a restaurant and it's very crowded, I don't, uh, I go to another place. Okay, Perfect. okay what else? Level-headed. What is level-headed? It's a person, correct person. Uh-huh. It's calm and sensible, right? Sensible. Okay. It means that, yes, it's people that have a balance, actually. Yeah. Uh, it's level-headed. There is another one they say hot-headed. It's a person that immediately gets a uh, bad idea and then they become aggressive. Uh, level headed is the person who has a balance. Moody. What is a moody person? A moody person is, is saying to bad temper? Uh, yeah, somehow. Yeah, somehow it's, the moody is the one that changes changes constantly, right? Uh, in the morning when you say good, good morning and say oh good morning very happy and everything but 30 minutes after you go hey excuse me do you have a pencil and then the person says yeah, no i don't have a pencil mm -hmm. and then you know when he came he was very happy and now 20 minutes after the person is completely different so it's uh that's a moody one changes constantly a uh, punctual Obviously, right to be on time. Also, Reliable. Uh -huh. Different hours, Salvadorian. Oh, yes. <laughs> the opposite completely, yes. It's funny. As I said, the meeting is, the party is at 8 o'clock. Everybody comes 9, 9.30, 10, 10.30. Okay, yeah. Very unpunctual. Reliable. What is Reliable. Mm. Maybe sincere. Uh, uh, the person who uh, who can you can trust. Yeah, you can say that. For example, or a car, a computer. For example, uh, usually they say that Toyota cars are good. Okay, so they are reliable. It's a reliable car. Uh, also, then we have Mazda or maybe a Honda. Those cars 
are more delicate, more expensive, but they are very reliable, right? So you can uh, you can go anywhere. For example, if you have a if you want to go from here to Guatemala, then uh, then you say, well, my car is reliable. Okay, so that means that you can trust your car to travel. And a strict. The strict is demand. Mm -hmm. Okay, demanding. Okay, when you have to say strict is once you say this is black, this is black. This is yellow, this is yellow, right? So you don't change or these people don't change their mind. Okay? Okay. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Two, a coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and coworkers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three, a teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay. Two. Okay, good. Now look at this. You have a boss, co-worker, teacher, brother. Now, think about a person that you know. Your probably your father, and maybe uh, your brother, and your boss, a supervisor. Okay, anybody that you know that has probably uh, you can describe. You know, using these adjectives for the personality. Okay, for example, if I said, uh, my, I have, for example, a co worker, a teacher in the school who is uh, very creative, he is forgetful, uh, unfriendly sometimes, okay, he's not really outgoing. Uh, he is uh, hardworking and disorganized sometimes, okay? So then you say creative, forgetful, unfriendly, hardworking, and disorganized. Okay, so this is what I can say about, for example, a person like in this one. A coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three. Okay, she's very sweet. Yeah. Okay, so then in that case, this is, for example, <clears throat> what you're going to do, okay? Think about one person. And then describe that person. Tell them. I already described my friend. Now, you describe your friend, your brother, your sister, um, a friend, your mother, your father, your dog, okay? So you can describe someone. When you're ready, raise your hand.
Okay, ready? Yes. But uh, about one, two, three, four, or only one and two? No, one for you. One of your members. Ah, me, uh, mm -hmm. Somebody maybe, that you know. Bueno, maybe I am forgetful. Maybe you are? Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Okay. I just cried my husband. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Be careful, uh, be careful. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's, he's very kindly, but he is... Uh, 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 he, he is uh, generous, okay. uh, friendly, but... Uh, Sometimes it's dis disorganized, dis disorganized, Disorga disorganized, disorganized, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes bad, bad tempered <laughs> because it's, it's uh, a lot of um, um, uh, impatient, patient, patient, and patient. No, yes. he's, pa he's patient. What he's patient or impatient. Impatient. <laughs> oh, okay. But he's just uh, uh, very lo lovely. <laughs> so, oh, okay. It's, it's yeah. the, the, he he has uh the extre extremos, uh, extremos extremes. Yes, extreme. <laughs> and in this moment, he's next to you. And he speaks no. English. And he speaks English. <laughs> no, he's he's the next door. The, the okay. Next one, excuse me. Okay, but but he's listening and he's fixing it. <laughs> ah, you're talking about me. Okay. 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 Good. Okay. Nice. Thank you very much, Anna. Okay. You see, uh, Anna has just uh described her husband. Okay. You can describe uh I don't know boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, child. Invent a person. Okay. I'm going to invite. Uh, you can describe your imaginary friend. Okay, or you can also describe and think about the what would be a perfect friend for you. Okay, for example, imagine if I could have a perfect friend could be a creative, generous, patient, hardworking, and reliable. Okay, I would choose creative, friendly generous, patient, hardworking, and reliable, okay? Six characteristics of the personality of the my perfect friend, okay? If I had, that's what I would like to have, if I had the chance, okay? One volunteer, Herbert, Kenya, Martin, Rebecca. Uh, in number one, a boss and creative. In my my opinion. Okay, nobody. Your boss. Do you work? Um, my opinion and. No, but do you do you work? No. No. Okay. Do you study? Yes. Okay. In the university. No. Where do you study? Excuse me. Where do you study? Um, in my, in my house. Okay. And do you have a teacher? You study online? Yes. Okay. What career do you study? Yes. What? What do you study? Medicine, engineering. 
Uh, is the saddest person. Okay, you, you study or work? And I work. Okay, you work? Yes. From your house? Yes. Ah, okay. So then, okay, what, and do you have a supervisor? And in my opinion, I a boss creative. No, but do you have a um, supervisor in your work? Yes. What's his name or her name? Excuse me? What is her name? Uh, what is your name? Her name, the name of your supervisor. Um, Norma. Okay, then Norma. Can you describe, is Norma, and now describe Norma. Um, in my in my opinion, a boss ideal is a creep, creative. Creative, uh huh. Okay, good. But now describe Norma. Yes. Norma. Describame a Norma. Um, um serious. Is okay, serious. Serious. What else? What else? Um, is 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 more strict, strict, uh, strict. Yes. Okay. Or a strange. Um, ¿qué significa strange? Extraña. Um, no. Okay. Serious. Serious. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Nice. Okay, Juan. I am teacher. Go mm -hmm. ahead. I am Juan Carlos. Okay, Juan Carlos, yes. Okay, I, I try to describe my mother. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, my mother is um, 50, 59 years old. Okay. Uh, but uh, she is very, she's very hardworking. Mm -hmm. It's very hardworking. And she is very generous. I I admire 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 mm -hmm. my mother because uh, uh, she is always giving gift to everyone. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, strange. But I, I am serious, and and sometimes I am bad tempered. It. It's, uh, uh, but my mother is not, uh, is not, is not uh, that. Mm -hmm. She is very friendly uh, and he, she is talkative, okay. very, very talkative. And I am very serious. Yeah, it's just strange. So you are the opposite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of what, of uh, what your mother is. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay. I am opposite with my mother. Okay. Yeah, it happens. It happens. You know that sometimes yeah. uh, parents are in some and in other cases the parents are very serious, and the children are you not know, very outgoing, uh, generous, and all that. Right. Okay, but it's good. Yeah. Very nice okay. mother. Good. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Okay, Maria. Tell me. Who are you going to describe? I describe my coworker. Okay. <laughs> because I, I don't want a bus. Um, yeah, my coworker is Scraky. Mm -hmm. uh, is as generous and very friendly. Uh, uh, she, He's um, patient with me and the other 
and the other person okay are working especially with with uh, with teenagers when when he work with teenagers he has working and very passion and he's disorganized but is real reliable and not good person i think okay very good thank you very much kenya did you describe somebody a teacher what do you think of the new french teacher Okay, Kenny, go ahead. Mm, I don't know if you're speaking, but I cannot hear you. But your phone, your microphone is not, is not on. I hear, I okay, hear, sir. You hear? Teacher, I can hear her. Okay, it happens sometimes. There is oh, sometimes one that I cannot hear. Uh, let me more volume. Okay. Say something, please, Kenya. Yeah, I know that you're supposed to be speaking in this moment, but I don't hear you. Well, just the rest of the crew can hear you, not me. Okay, Kenya, thank you. Oh, you know what? Sorry, but I um, I don't know what happened. I can read, I can listen to everybody except you. But you can write here, for example, some adjectives about the person that you want to describe. You can say, my father is a uh, serious, generous, uh, hardworking, but bad temper. Okay, so you can write some sentences. I mean, no sentences, just the adjectives. Okay, good. Uh, Byron, can you describe a person? No, it means. Yep. Yes, I I try to describe my boss. Okay. Uh, her name is Lorena. She's very very the disorganized hmm. and a little mildly, but in occasion, it she can be relative and. Um, yeah, she is a good people, a good people. A good, a good person. A good person, sorry. Okay, good, nice. Okay, the last one, Dayanara, one more. Hi, I will describe my mom. Okay. She is very creative. Um, generous, a big generous person. She is hardworking, but is so disorganized. Mm -hmm. Disorganized, and sometimes she had have a bad temper. Okay, but I love her. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a good thing, you know. It's your mom. <laughs> nice. Sure. Yes. I would like to. To describe by myself. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Okay, okay, go okay. ahead. Okay. Uh, I think so. I'm. I'm. I'm a person, generous. Uh, uh so happy. Okay. <laughs> passion, but sometimes I'm in passion. Uh. Uh. I uh when I I'm not uh, angry, but when I angry when I get why angry I, is, when is, I when get I, why I angry no when when I get angry 
what? When I get angry. When I get angry. Uh -huh. Is why uh, uh, I have a, 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 a really reason that I have a, a hungry. I get hungry. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> And and I uh, affectionate mm -hmm. with my uh, uh, my 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 parents or my 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 family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's all. <laughs> Good. Okay. Nice. Okay. Good description of yourself. Okay, teacher. I, I have to be careful. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. Okay, the other one is the closest with because. Okay. And now listen to I this. Hope... Uh -huh. Hi. Are you... uh, uh, upset is is like angry. Upset is when you have a, a mix of feeling. It can be angry, okay. fr angry, frustrated. Uh, maybe sad okay so it's a it's a mix of feelings you know that oh. you feel, so you feel yeah. upset. okay, okay. It's not exactly only one okay several, several bad feelings that make you feel uncomfortable okay okay thank you you're welcome now here we go are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason stay with us and see how the word because is used Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because it's a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist. Or, I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget, the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor or an actress. Please share your responses on our discussion box. Okay, so this is closest with because. Okay, so here we have some options. They say, I wouldn't want to be a nurse. And then you have four, five options using because. Because I don't like hospitals. Okay. Number two. Yeah. The last because I love creative reading. Writing. Writing. Number three. I could be a lesbian. Because I am terrible with numbers. Because uh, I am terrible with numbers. Terrible with numbers. numbers. I could be a Four. I would make a waiter. Because I had a terrible memory. Because I have a terrible memory. 
And the last but not least. I could be a flight attendant because I really enjoy travel. So you see here, for example, you have a context and then you have a reason. Why, right? I like to be a novelist. Okay, why? Because I love creative writing. Um, I could be an accountant. I could be an excellent accountant because I could never be, sorry. I could never be an, an excellent accountant because I am terrible with numbers. Okay, here we go. There you have the correct answers. Okay, any questions, people, about because or when I use uh, when I use the 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 model verb always. Uh, <coughs> Always uh must be uh no debe haber como puedo decirlo must be must, must help must be must help must be must, must be, be must be a uh, answer. Uh, it depends on the sentence, but yeah, in this case, if you see they are using some models, right? I wouldn't. I like. I could. I would because this is not uh, something that you have done yet, mm -hmm. okay? Then you have to, for example, it could be simple present. I want to buy a new car because my, the one that I have at this moment is a little old. I want to paint my house because it's dirty, okay? I want to paint, uh, let's say the, no paint, no. I want to study French because I like it. So then it, it depends, right? In this case, they are using models, but you can also use other verbs, okay? Not only this one. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, be sure. Yeah. Remember that when you say, I would make a bad waiter, you are giving an opinion. Obviously, there will be a reason. Why do you think that? Okay. You can say, for example, after this class, I will go straight to my bed and sleep because I am tired. Okay. Uh, when I finish, then you can say, when I finish this class, uh, I will go straight to my bed. So then you are using future, can be a past, it could be present, or also the modal auxiliaries. It's the same. Okay. And Spanish. Yeah, yes, exactly the same. When you give an opinion, usually you have to say big house, right? Look, yeah. uh, in this one, there is a mistake. Uh -huh. They say big house, big house sweat. So then they change it. I don't know if you had problems. Because because, yes, here's a mistake in the answer. It's a mistake. Uh-huh. Okay. Be careful with this. Or you yes. finish this, this, this exercise, right? Okay. So it has to be because. Pero. La respuesta es equivocada in the spelling. Okay. Yes. Good. Then we have. This is the final exam, right? So we have here, look at this one, choose the words. Then this is conditional. Remember, if you walk to work, this is the con first uh, conditional. If you walk to work. You have to pay. You have. No, you won't. Uh, you, you, you won't. If you walk to work, you won't have to pay for the bus. You have to. You won't have to. Now, if you vacation, you may feel better and more relaxed. Take a vacation. Yeah, to take a vacation. If you get married, you. Uh, 
one B. We have two one B. You get married. You want B. You want B. You want no. 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 You have. You will have. You will have less free time. Yes. Fiona, carefully plans her day so she's never okay. late for appointment. She likes to be? She likes to be punctual. Punctual. Okay, number five. You try to help people and never say no. When someone asks him for a favor, he seems like a really, a really generous man. Yeah, generous man. Yeah, there's man. And the last one, Amy and Sam. And <clears throat> bad temper. Amy and Sam get angry easily and almost never smile. And bad temper. Bad temper. Okay, good. Okay, there you have all correct. Remember that the first conditional is present and future. In the if close, if you get married, the result close, you will have less free time. So that is the composition of the sentence. Okay, this one is a listen. Okay, you're going to listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. Units 9 to 10 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. 1. Sylvia, can you believe that 15 years ago not many people had personal computers? I know. I remember being so happy when my parents gave me a manual typewriter for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. Well, before typewriters, people used to write each other. My mother has some beautiful old handwritten letters. Those were the good old days, huh? Yes and no. Nowadays, email makes it so easy to keep in touch with family and friends. So you wouldn't want to go back to those days? No, I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey, do you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. No, thanks. Two, I love old houses. I like that they have a past, you know, a history of every family that lived there. But Marcia, if you buy an old house, you may have to make a lot of repairs to it. Repairs? What kind of repairs? You might have to change the pipes and electrical wiring, or even put in a new heating system. Well, that might be true. But just think of how wonderful it would be to live in such a beautiful old place. But if you stay in your apartment for a few more years, you won't have to worry about moving. You'll have a lot more time to save money for your dream home. Three. So, Jim, have you thought any more about the kind of work you're interested in doing? Well, I've been thinking how I love traveling and... <laughs> so do I, but that's what you do on vacation. No, Dad, I mean... I want a job that involves traveling. Oh, like uh, an airline pilot? Well, not exactly, but hey, you just gave me a good idea. I work well with other people, and I don't mind working long hours, and I'm good at French and Spanish, so maybe I could become a flight attendant. Hmm, a flight attendant. Do you think your mom and I would get to fly at a special family rate? I think so. Great. Four. Do you know yet what you're going to do this summer? Well, 
I think I'd make a good counselor because I really like working with children. I'm going to try to work at a summer camp. Yeah, you'd be great working with kids at a camp. That kind of job isn't for me, though. But Mac, you like hiking and camping, and you're hardworking. But I'd hate to have the responsibility of taking care of a group of children. And I'm way too impatient to work with kids. Well, what else would you enjoy doing? I really enjoy working outdoors. I think I'm going to try to find a job working at a national park. I'd love to help park rangers take people on nature hikes and things like that. All right. So here we have uh, Sylvia has some old letters from her grandmother. It's going to sell her old typewriter or is happy with her laptop? Uh, is happy with her laptop. Okay. And according to Henry, if Marcia stays in her apartment, she has more time to save for a house. She'll have more time to save for a house. Seems that. Uh, he likes the idea of coming to try him. Okay, good. Hey, Mac. I want to get a job at a national park. Okay. Here we go. So 20 out of 20 points. But there is only one listening in this one. Or conversation, choose adjective. We're gonna finish this one before we go. It says complete the conversations, instructions, complete the conversations and check the response. Okay, this one, remember, I'm not very good at typing. So this were like agree or disagree. Which one makes more sense? I'm not very good at typing. You can see, oh, I am. Well, I do. Really? Well, I, do. I don't mind. Well, well, oh, I am. Oh, I am. I am. Yes. Okay, because the other thing, well, I do know because we are using the verb to be. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, next one. I like working with computers. So do I. So do I. Affirmative sentence, the verb do, and then we say, so do I. Affirmative way to agree. And only three. I don't mind driving to work every day. Neither do I. Okay, this is negative sentence, just to do. Then definitely neither do I. Hey, this is cheesecake. Good. Okay, so then uh, for tomorrow, we're going to have this one. Plans for day, two adjectives. Uh, Okay, tomorrow we're going to choose a topic. Okay, back to the back to the future. Let me go to number four. Okay, the time contrast between the past, present, and future. Okay, so remember that. We're going to choose a topic. Tomorrow we're going to have a topic about uh, where we can include problems, 
what something is used for. And then we're going to use celebrations. And back to the future. So we're going to be using these topics, okay, to talk about different things. So we're going to have a conversation class. Well, obviously, we're going to fill the quiz number, the exam. And then uh, we're going to have other activities too. Remember, tomorrow is the last day. Don't miss the class. Uh, be on time. It's the, last, it's the last class. Tomorrow, yes. Tomorrow we finish. Tomorrow, yes. Yes. Uh, Today has a lot of uh, information. Mm -hmm. and, and I hope to <laughs> don't forget and practice. <laughs> and, and I thanks uh, uh, with you because uh, uh, for giving, giving us your time. Oh, no, it's okay. That's my job. For tough, everybody. Yeah, it's not good. Tomorrow we're going to have a virtual farewell party mm -hmm. okay, to say goodbye. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, so sure. see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Remember, okay, same time, same place. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good day. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good evening. Uh, good, good night. Good night, <laughs> uh, good night everyone. Good night. <laughs>